In the hazy daylight of the lower valley, the car ambled into the colonia of Isleta. Pilar could distinguish a few scattered shacks of their neighbors. She knew that Isleta, with a Y, was a misspelling of the Spanish word for little island, a misnamed, misplaced swath of earth in what had been a prehistoric sea. They passed the Isleta mission, which had been founded a hundred years before the 13 colonies had declared themselves the United States of America. Ismael thought, and now to our new home. The Chevy stopped in front of an abandoned adobe house. Pilar pushed open the car door and got out. She led Ismael by the hand. This is our new house, she said. Here? Ismael asked. Yes, here. What am I going to do when you leave me? Oh, come on, where am I going? Stanford, Yale, Harvard. You know you'll get in. Everybody knows. Look, I don't want to leave you either. I'll always be here. For Ismael, another revelation of his freshman year at Harvard had been that he was a Chicano, brown against a white background. Did you know women jumped off the Twin Towers with their babies? Women who were trapped dozens of floors above the fires? Ay, Ismael, the people who did this weren't Muslim, they're fanatics. Yeah, and you egged them on. You and your friends. From the humble beginnings in a southwest desert town to the events of today's headlines, from this wicked patch of dust tells the story of a family struggle for the American dream. I'm Sergio Troncoso and I was born in Isleta, Texas. I'm standing in front of the Isleta Mission. My novel, From This Wicked Patch of Dust, tells a multi-generational story of this Mexican-American family from this town that struggles to become American despite a maelstrom of cultural forces. Find it at a bookstore near you.